it is very important to take medicine regularly for those who have chronic condition or acute illness in today's busy life people forget to take medicine on time or sometimes they take medicine a same medicine twice so it's create a stressful situation for elderly people caregivers and family members hey hello guys this is shubha pratap and welcome back to my channel circadian so today to solve this problem i will show you how i made my iot based smart medicine box the smart medicine box will remind you to take medicine on time i also made a android application for the smart medicine box by using this application you can decide when to take medicine and which medicine to take so don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started Now let's see how the system will work. The core of this system is a Node MCU ESP8266 microcontroller. To keep track of the time, I am using a RTC module. The system will give you voice reminder and visual alert to remind you to take medicine on time. To set the medicine and the reminding time, I made a Android application which will send the data to the Firebase real-time database. and the esp8266 will fetch that data from the firebase and save it into its memory to build this project i am using node mcu as a microcontroller unit because it has a built in wifi and it is very cheap for producing sound i am using a df player mini along with a 3 watt 8 ohm speaker and for visual alerts i am using different color leds for different medicine now comes the tricky part there are multiple rtc module in the market so which one we should use i choose ds1307 module for its cheap price but i have faced some problem while using this module it has repeatedly resetting itself deep side the battery was installed then i was forced to use another rtc module which is ds3231 because this is the only rtc module i have left the price difference between these two boards is five times i also encountered the resetting problem while using the ds3231 module so i searched on internet and found out the library written for this rtc module only work well with arduino boards and the library written for esp board have some bugs so somehow i managed to uh, make this module work for my case and if you have some solution for this then let me know in the comment section the df player mini i am using in this video is sponsored by df robots you can check out their website for more details link is given in the description now let's take a look at the circuit the rtc module ds3231 communicate via i square c communication so the d1 is connected to scl pin and d2 is connected to sda pin i will power this ds3231 module via 5 volt power supply the df player mini communicate via serial communication so i declare the d7 and d8 pin software serial pins so i connect the d7 pin to the tx of df player mini and the d8 pin to the rx of df player mini i supplied the df player mini via a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery for more information about this module you can watch my video on df player mini i used red green yellow blue led for different medicine so the led will connect to d3 d4 d5 and d6 the cathode of all led should be grounded the main code for the smart medicine box is very long so i will tell you the coding algorithm in the setup part at first the node mcu will check if there is any wifi available If the node MCU is connected to a Wi-Fi, it will fetch the data of the alarm timings with the number of medicines from Firebase real-time database and store the data into its EEP ROM. And if the node MCU cannot connect it to a Wi-Fi, it will fetch the alarm timings with the number of medicine from its EEP ROM. 
If there is no value saved in EPROM, then it will set the default alarm timing which is written in the code. In the loop part, NodeMQ will continuously check the timing from RTC module. And whenever the current time matches the alarm time, it will give voice alert and also turn on the right LED as to which medicine to take. Another repeat alarm will also alert you for the second time to take medicine. You can adjust the time difference between the main and the repeat alarm. I have written this code such a way that the system will need internet connection when new alarm is set. In other time, it can run without internet connection. In the code, you have to change the Wi-Fi and Firebase credential. And by changing the value of RT variable, you can adjust the time difference between the main and repeat alarm. Here I have put this value 1 minute. You can also set the time how long the LED will be turned on after the alarm by changing the value of HT variable. Here the time unit is in millisecond. So that is it for the coding. I also made an Android application in Codula. In the application, I use drop-down box which is also known as spinner for taking the alarm time input. And I use checkboxes to take the medicine input. For showing all the data on the first screen, I use some labels. To make this app work with your Firebase, you need to change the Firebase credentials here. If you need the AIA file of this application, then comment down below. Now let's build the hardware. I am using a plastic container for making the smart medicine box. I will place the circuit at the bottom of this container and use this cardboard separator to put different medicine inside it. This is the final arrangement of the smart medicine box. These are 4 LEDs for 4 medicines. And here is the speaker for voice notifications. This is the Android application for the smart medicine box. Here you can visualize the timing and the medicines and by clicking in this edit button you can adjust the time and the medicine. Now I am setting the night medicine time. It is 10.30 pm I am setting and the medicine number 1, 2 and 4 is setting for the night medicine. Now I will click this save button. So my night medicine is saved at 10.30 pm and the medicine number is 1, 2 and 4. Now let's see the smart medicine box. Now I am powering up this device. We had a very little time to make this video so we have to put lot of hard work into this. So if you uh, enjoyed this video then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting and informative video like this and also turn on the bell notification to get notified about my new videos. If you want you can support me by buying me a coffee. 
and i will see you in the next video and the most important thing be creative